Hi, this is David from CableSupply.com and today we're going to check out how to terminate shielded cable onto shielded mud plugs and shielded jacks. Uh, the advantage of shielded cable is that it has a shield on it. It protects it from EMI and alien crosstalk. Basically the shield is a thin piece of metal. It can either be a braided piece of metal or it's kind of like a woven piece of metal or foil. And the cable can either be completely shielded all the way around or shielded all the way around and each individual pair is shielded uh, although you normally only find that in cat 7 um, so I'm going to strip back this shielded cable with my tools from my paladin tool pouch here which is great because all the tools stay in place no matter what direction it's in nothing's going to fall out until I pull it out so I have my snips here and this is the proper way to hold snips. You don't put your thumb through the hole. You just hold it like that. And just basically the bottom part moves. Is that right? Yeah, just the bottom part moves. So I'm going to score this cable and it will pop right open. And shielded cable is harder to strip because the jacket is full of more things. So we got the PVC jacket off here. And right here, this is the shielding. I'm going to pull this off, which it's hard to pull off as it should be because it's a shield. It's protecting the cable. So as you can see, this one is the foil. That's all it really is. It's uh, either aluminum, tin foil, sometimes it's copper, but usually just aluminum or some sort of uh, collection of different metals. I'm going to pull back all this protective coating here and as you can see we have our normal four pairs as well as a drain right here the drain is uh, basically it's a ground you ground it to something so that any kind of electrical interference that this picks up it's gonna drain it onto this uh, otherwise you would just have foil that's full of electromagnetic interference and wouldn't be doing any good. It wouldn't be able to go anywhere. It'd still be affecting the cable. Um, so first, we're going to try some mod plugs. These are shielded mod plugs, which we have on our website in 10 packs, just like this. And now that I've opened the pack, it's a 9 pack. We're going to have an auction online to give away the 9 pack that my hands touched. It's very special. <laughs> So here's the shield in mod plug. This part right here, this part right here, you can see that, kind of like wings. It's going to wrap around the cable. We're also going to put the ground on it and uh, make sure that the ground is within this um, and it's going to basically ground to this shield that's around it. And of course on the other end of the cable it'll be grounded um, at the patch panel or whatever the other side of the cable is. Um, and with CAT6 mod plugs, we have this little thing right here that we're going to uh, put all the cables through and then we're going to feed it into here and then crimp it down. Okay, so this is going to take a while. I'm not going to do that on camera. Slide it in right there and then just crimp it down. And because I'm obsessive, I always do it four or five times, which isn't necessary. So I'm going to wrap the drain, the grounding wire here, around the jacket. I want it to be close to the top of the mod plug so that when I bring this part up, this clamp right here, it's hard to see, but it's that clamp. I'm going to need something to clamp it. I'm just going to clamp it down onto the jacket. So I have it clamped down now and I'm just going to cut off this excess drain cable.
And now I have a shielded mod plug, shielded cable, completely protected from alien crosstalk or EMI.